Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, General Dempsey, do you believe the Iranians uh, have been trying to build a bomb or a nuclear power program for peaceful purposes all these years? I've, uh, I believe they have a militarization uh, aspiration. Uh, who's the commander in chief of the Iranian Armed Forces, Secretary Carter? Who uh, calls the shots? Uh, the um, Supreme Leader. Who decides if Iran goes to war? Supreme Leader, right? I believe so, yes. Who decides if they try to break out? The Supreme Leader? Yes. Does the Supreme Leader's religious views compel him over time to destroy Israel and attack America? I, I don't know. I, I don't know the man. I only well, let me read tell you, I says. do. I read what he says. I know I the man. I know what he wants. And if you don't know that, this is not a good deal. Uh, could we win a war with Iran? Who wins the war between us and Iran? Who wins? Do you have any doubt who wins? No, the United States. We win. Is it your testimony here that Saudi Arabia is okay with this deal and they've committed to you they're not going to feel compelled to get a bomb because of this deal? No, my testimony is that I can't speak for Saudi Arabia. Well, you have spoken for Saudi I've Arabia all over the American Saudi media, Arabia. reassuring everybody in this committee they're okay. I reported what they said. Uh, so. Do you think they were lying to you? Or do you think they were wanting weapons? Of course not. Do you think not. they were telling you what you wanted to hear to get It's a little bit weapons. like what is the Ayatollah thinking. I only uh, read what he uh, says. Yeah. Okay. And Fine. I take it. Uh, uh, who's value. your counterpart, Mr. Moniz? What's his name? Uh, Mr. Salahi. Have you read what he said on July 22nd, according to the Middle East Media Research Institute, about the side deal? Uh, he said... Let's see. We have reached an understanding with the IAEA, God willing. There will be very positive results. We do not accept the PMD uh, arrangement. We don't, we don't agree with that. And uh, we reject the concept. What kind of arrangement has he made to make him feel so positive? Uh, first of all, I had not read it. That's the first I'm question. I'm going to give it to uh, you. Secondly, you don't, you don't have to answer. Would it be surprising to you that he's telling the Iranian people, don't worry about this side deal. We're going to get a good outcome. I assume what he is suggesting is well, that, if you didn't is know that about were, it, is that there were no nuclear materials in Parchin, and that remains to be seen. I assume that he's saying that, that we've <laughs> reached an arrangement that we're okay with. That's what I assume, but the difference does matter. I, I would read it differently from just from hearing okay. it. Okay, well, we don't know what he means, mm -hmm. and apparently we don't know what the Ayatollah wants. I know what he means. He means he's reached an agreement where they don't have to worry about an inspection. And I think the Ayatollah will eventually acquire a nuclear weapon unless somebody stops him. Uh, do, do our allies in Israel across all party lines believe this is a bad deal, Secretary Kerry? Uh, no. Not everybody believes about Name deal. one political party in Israel. Oh, political party. I'm yes, sorry. people who are actually governing the country. Uh, Name one political party in Israel that is no, for I, this I, deal. I, I didn't hear you say political party. I'm sorry. No, political I, parties I, are opposed. Every political party in Israel is opposed to this deal. So when you speak about Israel in this deal, it's not Bibi, it's everybody. Thank no, a uh, senator, it's, time not, it's actually not everybody. Uh, the, Ami Ayalan, mm -hmm. the former head of Shin Bet, uh, believe Not a political party. Ephraim, no, but you said that, everybody in Israel. The time has expired. I don't, I don't think we, uh, Senator Cruz.